hello, hello! Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shireen Tan. Welcome back to the show. Today, we're going to talk about... <laughs> we're going to talk about single vineyard Syrahs from Santa Barbara County. We are very excited. These are three highly, highly scored, coveted wines. Very good producers. We're going to get into these. Before we do, I want to let you know that this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. If you do like this video, if it does add value to you, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara called... Sipping Santa Barbara <clears throat> Recommend Wines and Producers. <laughs> it's available on Kindle, EPUB, and PDF. I'll put it up on the screen. Let's get started. Woo! We poured wines already into glasses using our Corvin Model 2 Elite. Thank you so much to Corvin for giving us a sample unit to test. That was awesome. We poured into these beautiful, beautiful Gabriel Glass right? Gold Edition <laughs> hand-blown glasses. Um, these are awesome. Lighter than Zalto. Uh, super nice to swirl. I will actually have a discount code for these glasses at the end of the video. I will totally use the discount code. I'm not <laughs> trying to convince you. We're not affiliates, <laughs> yeah. We don't get anything. Let's get into this here. <clears throat> Sera. Okay. You know, it's been Santa Barbara County, famous for Chardonnay Pinot Noir. But it also has been identified as possibly the best place in California for Sera. It has the oldest Sera vines in California, I believe, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I, yes. I think so. Uh, it, was, it was planted by Zach yeah, Mesa. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so... We have three uh, excellent producers here. Um, these wines are not cheap. Uh, these wines are of higher quality. I'm really looking forward to getting into them. You ready to get into them? Very much. Okay, first we have a very famous producer, the Ojai Vineyard. This is the Syrah from John Sebastiano Vineyard in Santa Rita Hills, 2014. Adam Tolmach and Fabian Castell are the winemakers. Very famous guy. Uh, I'm excited. You excited about tasting Let's this, go sir? For it. You love Pinot Noir coming out of John Sebastiano Vineyard, right? Correct. Absolutely. So I don't think I, uh, I'm just excited. We Wait, have not sir, tasted can this. I have more, sir? We have not tasted this vintage <laughs> yet. <laughs> Let's give this a little bit of. First of all, this Syrah must use stem inclusion. He, it's not super dark in color. It is dark, but not uh, not pitch black. <clears throat> Let's give this a smell. One of these. <laughs> Robert Parker actually called one of the Ojai Vineyard Syrahs one time. I can't remember which vineyard it was, but he said it was more like a, a Premier Cru Burgundy, Red yeah. Burgundy, actually. Let's give this a smell. I can see why. A lot of red fruit yeah, for me. A, a lot of red. It do, Didn't it kind of act like a Pinot Noir? A, I actually, when I first smelled it, I thought the wine was a little bit close. Because I get a cherry, a little bit of violet, but it's very shy earth. right now. And earth to me. Really, I don't find this shy at all. I find this beautiful. Meat, definitely. I get a lot of violet. I really have to, we really have to concentrate. These wines are highly pedigreed wines. You can mm. tell. <laughs> I'm like getting in the mood here. These smell, this smells elegant, beautiful. Let me give this a little bit of a go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it smoke, that's good. <laughs> the tenons. <laughs> oh, my. Tenons. This is smooth, elegant. This wine right now is is like knocking my socks off right now. I think this wine is phenomenal. Oh, what do you think? You were so excited right next to me and I didn't get it, seriously, based on the nose. Until I tasted the wine, really beautiful. This wine is phenomenal to me. I would put this at 4.5 out of 5. You feel flavor sipping through every Instantly, bit of the top. <clears throat> this is not a huge, massive Syrah. It's more medium-bodied. Uh, it's not not for somebody looking for a big huge fruit bomb with big tannins ripping your face off. This is elegant, high drinkability. This is a beautiful effort. Wow. Two things: fruit intensity and tannins. I can't get over both. Beautiful. Four point five out of five for me. This is. I mean, this is 
not it's killer wine, right? Yeah, ten killer times. wine. Woo! Good job, Adam Tolmach. Oh, excellent job. <laughs> you want to save that? <laughs> Just one sip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. This is one of Shireen's favorite producers, Samsara. Uh, Samsara just actually went under new ownership, uh, Dave and Joan Shkutak, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they're this, and they hired Matt Brady. I'm uh, sorry, I don't remember <laughs> the names, Brady, all yeah. the names. The former wine, winemaker of Joffers, but this is from uh, when Chad Melville was making the wine, Samsara. This is the Syrah Zotovich Vineyard from 2013, ringing in at 40 U.S. dollars. The Ojai Vineyard was 45. This was... This is right in at 14.1% alcohol, only 190 cases produced, and just from four rows of the Zotovich Vineyard. <laughs> You're I'm, right into I'm partial <clears throat> to Samsara. It's just, there's not a single wine from them that I dislike. In fact, I love, love every single one of their wine. We just polished off a bottle of Samsara Grenache last night, Larner Vineyard, which was beautiful. All right, let's give this a little bit of a go. Lots of black fruit, plum, earth. This is a little bit more burlier than the old, but not burly in any way, mm -hmm. shape, or form. Uh, beautiful nose. Coffee. Coffee. <sighs> White pepper. This to me, this to me tastes like the Catalonia Syrah that we had. Uh huh. Oh, remember? Good comparison, yeah. Great Catalonia Syrah that we had. This is not. This is. Some Syrah has a house making style. Mm -hmm. They still have some bramble fruit. Let me give this. Let me give this a little bit of a go. Mm. I love how every single one of their wine is always so drinkable, mm. so approachable, mm. even at such a young age. I mean, this is not young, mm. but this is a new release. But it's ready. Spicy, medium body tans are a little firmer than in the mm. Ojai Vineyard. Super high drinkability. Gosh, these wines are real, love, are really good. I love the grip <clears throat> of the tannins. I'm gonna actually swallow a little bit. There's no no spitting for me here. This is, wow. This is for more of a people that like the typical California bright fruit. I think this is more of a Europe. If you like more European style wines, I would have to mm. say, right? Yeah. Um, it's good though. The acidity for this stands out yeah. a lot for me as well. Very bright, beautiful, refreshing, clean finish. Four point four out of five for me. I think there's. I, it's just a matter of preference. I prefer mm. the Ojai a little bit more, but dang, this is good wine. Yeah. You ready to move on? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Another legendary producer, Zaka Mesa. This is the Chapel G. Serra from 2013. Uh, winemaker Eric, is it Mo Mosheni? Yes. Moseni, Moseni, sorry, is the current winemaker there. He planted this block of Syrah when he got on board. It has a little bit of Viognier in it. Adam Tolmach actually worked for Zaka Mesa at, at one point in time. This has 3% Viognier co-fermented into it, so it's acting like a coat roti, uh, wines that I love, love. and don't yeah. get enough of because they're super rare. <laughs> let's give this a go. Excuse me for, uh, let's see if we have anything else here. 48 U.S. dollars. This is the Frenchie that I know. Wow. <laughs> this is very... <clears throat> These are three single vineyard Syrahs that are mm -hmm. acting very different. Zaka Mesa, this is from their estate vineyard. This is one of their top wines besides the Bear Block Syrah. Vi Zaka Mesa wines always have tons of violets. So it's even a little per perfumey to me. This is... Yeah, we call it perfume, yeah. Uh, it makes me want to eat. This smells great. Zeka Mesa wines to me always smell like berry smoothies. Like if you go to Smoothie mm -hmm. King, if you're in the States, or if you're getting fresh smoothie, if you're getting a berry smoothie with blueberries, raspberries, cherries, all that kind of stuff, strawberries, that's what you're going to get. <clears throat> this is smooth. Really? Really smooth. Mmm. Wow, very polished. Very polished effort. A little bit of tangerine peel on the back end. It's funny how we lined this up. I did not mean it. This is the lightest in body. Me and body, this is the fullest in body. It says bigger tans, bigger body, but yet it's still silky smooth. 
What do you think about this effort from Zacca Mesa? These are all, I mean, outstanding wines. Orange peel, I get it on the finish, but this is definitely very black fruit driven, really much bigger wine. Um, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little Viognier adds a little bit of touch to it. <clears throat> what do you, what do you prefer? <laughs> I mean, for me, it's so hard. Yeah. A 4.5, 4.4, I think 4.4-ish. 4.3, I, the, all the good look, wines. Look, look, let, let's get this straight first because all the producers that we are featuring, right, we are already, we already put them in the book, which means that we filter out the very best. So all of these wines are made by winemakers and producers that we love. And it's, yeah, we know that it's going to be good wines already. Oh, this, oh, loving, loving these three wines. Any, any, anything you, what do you prefer right now? This is by far the hardest episode for me to choose my favorite wine. Really? Yeah. I, I think all this three comes really close. I would have this with ribs. Mm -hmm. mm. By itself. By itself. I really want to enjoy the subtle nuances. Versatile. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're all good wines. So guys, I, I'm going to put the discount code for the Gavra glass up on the screen. You can get 15% off the standard glass, at, which is machine blown, and the Alpha Decanter. We are not affiliates. We don't get anything from it. Just our, just extending an offer out to you. So, if you like this episode... Yeah, wait. Check out, <laughs> oh, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara, Sipping Santa Barbara. I will put it in the description box. Check out these three wines, please. There's, a, I mean, these are... These are Ojai Vineyard, Samsara, Zaka Mesa, three outstanding producers. A little bit bigger production. This has a, a little bit more I mean, national distribution. These two, you'll have to go to their websites to uh, check them out. Anything else you want to add to this? No. So if you taste this wine, we would love from, to hear from you what you think. Yeah, put it in the description well. box. Yeah. So, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you in the next, next episode. episode.